days. So yesterday when I went to work, I had a flat tire. I aired it up, got to work, and it was low again. So I looked around on the tire as I was re-airing it up, and I found this. Let's see if I can see what I'm showing you. Found that in my tire. Pulled it out. The thing hissed right down to the ground. Flat. So, I took this out of there. And I replaced it with this. <laughs> Drywall screw. But not just this. Dry wall screw and this. And guess what? After I aired it up yesterday afternoon around 3 34 o'clock, it's still holding there this morning. In fact, you're going to see it in the next segment of the video. Unbelievable. Cheap tire plug. So if you got yourself some Gorilla Glue and a screw, doesn't have to be a drywall screw, it can be any kind of screw, but it should be a wood screw with wider threads like this. So what you do is, in the hole that this created, I squirted some of this in to the hole, started the screw in, and as you're turning it, as you're turning the screw inward, you add Gorilla Glue to each of the, hey, I'm trying to get this in the light, try to add Gorilla Glue in between each thread as it's going in, and once you get this flush with the top of the screw, Flush with the tire, try to get, well, try it. You screw it below slightly. Not all the way, otherwise, it's just going to fall right on through. Screw it so it's below the surface of the tire slightly. And then finish off with this. Now, I got lucky. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. But when I took this out, the hole was right at the top of the tire. So everything was, gravity was my friend with the tire. But it worked. It's still holding there. You'll see in the next segment. Now we're going to move on to some scrap and stuff. Look at how the van is sagging. It's the back end. You're about to see why. Um, so here, I want to show you this real quick first. That tire is still holding air. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but right here, this is where I put the screw in. That's where I had the whole puncture. This is Gorilla Glue right here. That tire is holding air. So, but here's what I wanted to show you. <clears throat> Out here, along with the tire, I picked, oh, well, I don't know why I'm in here. I am not doing straight runs Monday. Look at how low this is sitting. Look at this, guys. Nineteen Transformers. These weigh 46 pounds a piece. I am not taking these to the scrapyard and getting shred price for them. Now, I am not going to tear them apart either because look at this. This is what was inside. This is just a mess. I mean, yeah, it's copper. You can see it's copper. But, but you know, you... It took maintenance guys with 
power tools, a grinder, uh, a sawzall. They had uh, coal chisels. They had sledgehammers. Took them two hours to get one of these apart. Yeah, there's probably others here that could do it quicker than that, but I don't even have those power tools to do that. So, I saw these online are similar units. Same brand, different model. New, that's all for 300 bucks, 200, 289 bucks. I'm going to try and get some money out of them damn things. These, of course, these will go into the storage or to scrapyard, but I got to get to the storage unit and dump these off. There, I got like 1,600 pounds in here between those four cabinets and these transformers. I mean, look at the back end of this thing. It's even got that tire kind of sketchy. So, yep. I may go do that before work today just to give the back end some relief. Because that, those, that's... Those 19 transformers right there weigh almost, well, there's 20 because there's one torn down. It, this is all the steel from it. This is the copper from it. The rest is just a plastic casing. Those transformers alone, there's 200 pounds a stack. Here, four of these weigh 200 pounds, all right? So four, or 200, two, four, six, eight, and two more. So that's eh, 900 pounds, 900 pounds of transformers. I'm not getting $27 at the scrapyard for that. I could potentially make, potentially, not saying I will, but I could potentially make One to two thousand dollars on those if I could sell them. That's just freaking awesome. I just have to figure out what price point I'm willing to go down to to let them go. So I am going to list them on eBay. I'm going to get a good picture. So the next few days are just going to be spent getting these up for sale. All right. Well, guys, man, I'm I'm stoked. That's pretty damn cool. And guess what? They're changing all of these out. I didn't get these before. All I got were the boxes. Now I get the transformers too, because the new boxes, they replaced the last batch I had of those. They replaced them with the same dock box, same size, same power need. So they kept the these transformers for them but the new ones they're putting in which makes no sense to me it, they wanted to go cheaper so they're putting in a smaller dog box they don't need the big transformer so they're going to the same brand but a smaller sized one and they're getting rid of all of these and these work well the old fat guy gets all of them that's like a huge windfall right there yeah, I'm not going to tear into them. I'm going to try to sell them. If I cannot sell them uh, on eBay, I will try to sell them locally. If I can't sell them locally, I don't know. I don't want to give them up for just scrap. So we'll see what happens, all right? Okay, for now, I'm going back inside so I can edit this video. And... Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. You guys mean everything to me. Let's share in this windfall. I'm stoked. Have a nice day, guys.